Just want to just very briefly just talk about Church Weekend. I know we've put our dates in the diary for the 10th to the 12th of June. Some people may be wondering what's going on. But before I press the next slide, I want to set a little context. Okay, so I don't know about you, after the last two years it's been quite uh, stressful not meeting with people and gradually coming back and this week is the first week we've not been wearing masks in service, which is a sigh of relief for a lot of Are you still, there we go, fantastic, it's a bit wobbly down here. Um, but also I think also beginning of this year we've just been told that all uh, kind of like living costs is going to go up for a lot of people. Uh, I looked on uh, Facebook and a friend of mine who uh, just put on something and he just said his uh, gas bill's gone up by a £1,000 for the year. Just think. And I think there's a lot of people in our country that are going to be facing a serious crunch with money over the next year, two years. And maybe people have been made redundant over COVID. There's been a number of people who are struggling with money who may not actually say it. The context is I have a lot of people say to me since the first day I turned up here was when are we going to have a church weekend away? And that's lovely. Uh, I just didn't have time to organise one. Um, to be honest, I still don't, but we're going for it. But the last church weekend away, if you were a family of four, would have cost about £500 to go on. I don't think that's realistic in this coming year. I just think it's too much to ask if there was a family of four, maybe five, to pay well over £500 to come on a weekend away. I've, we've uh, having a look at a place called Etherly Farm. Don't panic, I'm not asking you to sleep in a barn. Okay, Etherly Farm. Okay, I'm not quite sure whether the sun's going to allow us to see this. Etherly Farm is 37 minutes away. It's in the Surrey Hills. It's an area of outstanding natural beauty. And yes, it is camping. <laughs> Pete and I are going to be there. Fantastic. So it is camping. Now, I want you just to hold that thought, whatever that thought is. Okay, it's 37 minutes away. Okay, just a little bit more about where it is so you can see Etherly Farm is there and there's a lovely area and actually you've got uh, somewhere out here somewhere is uh, uh, Leith Tower. So if any of you have been to Leith Tower, it's in that neck of the woods. It's a wonderful place and the, the farm is truly a, a lovely farm. If you don't know, but uh, Sam Bowen actually works there. And does his placement there and he goes off to an agriculture course. So this is how we've got to know it. I've been there three times now for holidays. It's a good place. It is, and I'm going to say it again, 37 minutes away approximately. The site itself, I'm not going to go there. So you can see the campsites. You've got a lovely field up here, massive field. That's the farm itself. You can have open fires and it's a poultry farm and it has llamas. It's probably alpaca. Just wanting some excitement from the corner there. Okay, so it is a... Thank you. Fantastic. We're all over this today. Brilliant. It's going so well. Okay, now on the site itself, it has a farm shop that sells everything from basic essentials, meats, milk, eggs, the whole kit and caboodle. Uh, it has a shower block. Okay. I know suddenly people are going, oh, that's so much better, Neil. Thank you very much. So it has a shower block. It has all the facilities you want. It has disabled facilities on flat level in the shower block itself. It is a very good campsite. So the question, the you know, and actually you know, around the area, we've got Leith Tower itself, outstanding uh, beauty, and then the Parrot Pub. William. Brilliant. So there's the Parrot Pub just there, 10 minute walk. This is what I, I, <laughs> So here's the thing. People are going to ask the question, are you willing to camp? Okay. The actual cost roughly, we'll be sending out details of cost, but it's going to, we are approximate for a family of four, it's going to be about 200 pounds for a family of four. That will include a barbecue, a hog roast included. So all that really have to think about providing after that is your own breakfast and lunch. So either bacon sarnies if you wanted those or something else, some sandwiches. The hot food will be provided by us included in the price. 
Okay. Now on that weekend, we kind of want to see it as a weekend where we can re replenish ourselves, to actually replenish ourselves to be filled up again with being the body of Christ, the family of God, getting to know new people. It's a chance for us to uh, spend time hanging out at the campfire in the evenings. There'll be some entertainments, there'll be some activities going on in the afternoon for people to get stuck into. A chance for the church family to be together. Now, if you're thinking, Neil, I will never set foot in a tent ever, Justin's laughing, ever, there are Airbnbs in the area, there are bed and breakfasts, but also it is only 37 minutes away to which you can have a weekend pass, to which you can drive to on the days and then go home. So it is possible to have a weekend pass as well. Prices will depend on that. You can turn up to it without necessarily camping. If you're thinking, but I still want to camp, there will be places where we can provide the facilities, the camping, we can find tents for you. And then we will also, if you don't even want to cook your own breakfast, we will may even try and team you up with another family who is willing to cook breakfast and just share breakfast together. So the, uh, so the possibilities are endless. It's a weekend ticket. Also, if you're thinking, but Neil, I can't travel in on a weekend pass. We are looking at providing travel from Holy Trinity and St. Saviour's on the days to come in each day and to take you home. So it's not out of the realms of possibility. So what I'm going to happen is we're going to be sending this to St. Saviour's next week. And from next Sunday afternoon, there will be a questionnaire coming out, giving all the details of exact pricing and some questions that we'd love you to answer to gauge whether people are willing to come on this. We will have the whole field to ourselves. We'll put a marquee up for the services, the worship services. We'll have other marquees up for the youth and the children. There'll be a cafe area. We'll have, probably have tea and cake and lots of tea and cake. And no doubt there'll be even more tea and cake to be eaten during the weekend. It's a chance for us to relax and hang out together as a church family. So next Sunday, please do watch your email answer the questions as quickly as possible. The team's already met to start looking at all the logistics, but we just want to gauge how much take up there is for everybody to come on this. Fantastic.